Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I've got a little bit of a summer cold going on. But, <clears throat> I'm out of time to make this card. Um, it's for my parents' anniversary, which is on Saturday. So, oops. There, how about that? So, I don't have much of a choice. I have to go ahead and get it done. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it today, and you'll just have to forgive my stuffy, scratchy, <clears throat> icky voice and throat here today. <coughs> so, what I have started here is I just went ahead and I'm using the Birds Cards Happy Anniversary Edge Card. Um, I went ahead and I cut it to make it the card and then once I got ready to put it together and it was all laid out on my desk I went eh, I don't really like that because I wanted to write something very specific to my parents and I used um, my silhouette and my pen holder silhouette pen sketch pen or what is it pen holder yeah to do that but once I wrote what I wanted to write you could see half of it from the front of the card and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and cut the card part off and decided to go ahead and make it just a regular um, seven and a quarter by three and quarter three and a quarter inch card, my normal. So that's what I went ahead and did. So um, but I did keep <clears throat> I just cut the front of the card off so I could have that part. So that's what I did. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, and if you haven't checked out Bird's Cards, you really ought to do that because she is really, really talented and all of her patterns are free. So check that out. It is definitely worth your time. She does awesome things. Okay, so this is the front of my card. And I used some die cuts with a view um, paper I had in my scrap bin. I think this is from the luxury stack. Um, it just kind of worked. And originally, when I was going to do it as a card, I was going to put some black down to hide that um, little white border there. But now I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to go on black. So that little touch of white is okay. But as you can see, my black layer is smaller than my white layer. And I was going to, and I think I still am, going to cut, just cut off the excess. And my, my Y will just <clears throat> kind of hang off a little bit, but I think that'll be all right. I suppose if nothing else, I could cut the Y down. That's right, though. Okay, so that's where we're going to start with, and I'm going to grab my ATG, and I'm going to just start layering my patterns together. Are you leaving? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ATG down on my pattern piece here, and... I think I'm actually going to line this side up first so that it's even and then I can just flip this over and cut the excess off. Which I'm going to do right here because I was just a little off in my lining up um, in my software because sometimes it's hard to see. So I just had a little bit of excess there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with the happy part too. Um, I've been using a lot of birds cards lately because it gives me a chance to kind of fancy up, <laughs> if that's even a phrase, my cards without me having to try and go over my talent level. I know somewhere someone's going, you're not, but yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw some ATG down. And I'm gonna be a little more generous and then I'm gonna grab my art glitter glue and um, oops, and put some glue on these letters. Presley. Presley. <whistles> Sorry about that, but my dog just headed for the kitchen where he knows he's not supposed to be. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip that over and cut my excess off. Just like that. And I like that. Um, okay, on this one I'm going to add some foam behind it. And I'm not worried about mailing it or anything like that because, of course, it's for my parents. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I might actually do two layers of foam tape just because I can. Um, this is a place that if you had some fun foam, which I do somewhere, but I'm not worried about it enough to go digging it out. And like I said, it's not going through the mail, so I don't have to worry about it getting smashed or anything like that. There we go. Um, so we're just going to do that. Maybe a bit. 